friends, welcome back for week three. I'm so excited to see you guys. How are you guys doing? Give me some thumbs up if you're doing all right. Let me see, yeah? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, do you guys know a question that I need to ask you guys? Do you guys remember the question? You do? That's right, guys. Who teaches us important things? That's right. Jesus teaches me important things. You know, I have a question for you guys. Are, do you guys share with your siblings? Yeah? I, I gotta be honest. I remember when I was younger, I had this amazing pink Barbie. She was like a ballerina. She had all these pink dresses on. It was awesome. My little sister wanted to play with it. Now, do you guys know what my response was? That's right, I didn't share. No, I did not share at all with my sister. And so she went off crying and she felt really sad. But when I started being sad, I was like, ah, I need to be kind, I need to share with my sister. You know, that's what we're gonna learn today. Jesus teaches us important things, and the important thing that he's gonna teach us today in our Bible story is that we can share with others. So why don't we stand up on our feet, and why don't we worship our God? Our God is truly magnificent and wonderful, and there is no one like him. He brings peace into our lives. So why don't we worship our Savior? You are you teach me how to love You teach me how to share Jesus, you teach me to be kind And in all I do to have a good attitude You're teaching me now You're teaching me now You're teaching me now Oh, oh, oh You are teaching me memory verse for today. You guys are ready for the memory verse? Okay, let's do it together. Come on, let's stand up on our feet. Let's get all the jiggles out. Go on, stretch it out. You guys ready? Okay, I'm gonna need you to be super loud. Can you guys be loud? Yeah? Okay, well, let's do it. You ready? The people were amazed at his teaching, Matthew 7, 28. Amazing job, friends. But I think you guys can be louder than that, don't you? Yeah? Okay, well, let's do it. You ready? The people were amazed at his teaching, Matthew 7, 28. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, why don't you guys go ahead and just sit down and get real close to the TV because we're gonna learn an amazing Bible story. Why don't we check out this Bible story together? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning to I'm Zoe, and I just want another letter from my friend Ollie. He said that he's hidden some clues about today's story in these cups, and I had to punch through them to find the clue. Should we start with the red one or the blue one? Let's do the red one. 
It's a snack. Snack time is my favorite time of the day. I like popcorn as a snack. What do you like? That's good too. Let's try another one. Should we do the green one or the yellow one? Let's do the yellow one. It's crayons. Crayons are so colorful, they're my favorite thing to draw with. Raise your hand if you like crayons. So many of you. Let's punch one more cup. Should we do the green one or the orange one? Orange it is. It's a teeny tiny slide. I get to go down a big slide when I go to the playground. We have snacks, crayons, and a teeny tiny slide. Hmm. I wonder what today's story's about. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Found all of my clubhouse clues, did you? We did, Ollie. They're all super fun things. These things are fun, it's true. But did you know you can share them too? Just listen to this story. Follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today we have some very special cupcakes. Do you want to see? I call these my sharing is sweet cupcakes because if you buy one, you get another one to share with someone else and that's sweet. <laughs> Our story today is all about sharing. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is an important story that Jesus told. It begins with a farmer. This farmer grew a lot of good food. Like, a lot, a lot. Look! Whoa, that's a lot of food, right? The farmer needed to put all the food into the barn. Can you tell me when the barn is full? Just yell, stop! Ready? Load it up. Okay, stop. The barn is full. Uh-oh, the barn is full, but there's still more food. What should he do with all the extra food? Hmm, the farmer had an idea. He would build a bigger barn. The farmer could fill it up and keep all the food for himself. It would be way more food than he needed, but he wanted to keep it all. The farmer could have shared and helped a lot of people. Jesus told this story to teach us that it is important to share what we have. What can you share with others? A toy, a snack, a turn on the swing? We can share all those things. That's the very important thing that Jesus teaches us with this story. God wants us to share. I'm so glad Jesus teaches us important things. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus teaches us to share. So that's what we should do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that was a lot of food. Jesus taught us to share and that it's really important. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I think we should open just one more cup for fun. Let's open the blue one. I'll see you next time. Bye! Wow, that was an incredible Bible story. 
And in that Bible story, we learn that we can share with others, that Jesus teaches us an important thing that we need to share with other people. See, earlier today, I talked about sharing with my sister and how I had a hard time doing it. But once I shared with my sister that Barbie, I was able to experience kindness, and she was also able to experience kindness and compassion. And we had a great time together once I shared my Barbie. And so I encourage you this week, share it with others, whether it's with your toys, whether it's with your time, whether it's helping your mom in the kitchen, share with others. Why don't we pray together? God, I thank you that you teach us important things. And this week, God, you taught us to share with others. So God, I just pray that in any moment, God, that you would reveal to us how we can share with others, how we could be a light to others, how we could be who you called us to be, God. Because, God, you care about us. God, you love us. God, you see us. And, God, you know us. God, we just thank you. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for us. Thank you for waking us up this morning. God, thank you for the birds. Thank you, God, for the trees. God, thank you for your amazing creation that we're able to dwell in. God, there is no one like you. And so we just say thank you, God. We're grateful for you, God. You are mighty. You are wonderful. You are the Prince of Peace. And there is no one like you. It's in your mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, friends, I'll see you next week. See you later. The people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28.